This video is brought to you by Hit Point Press and their Big Bad Booklet series, a monthly zine about boss monsters for 5th edition. This month, come meet Exaxia, an arachnid thorn witch with a hypnotizing scent used to lure her prey. Can you escape Exaxia's eight-legged clutches, or will you find yourself in a thorny situation? Subscribe today at BigBads.com and find out. Today we are welcomed by Nesta Moreno. Hello. You are the last cast member to be introduced. Yes. You are the last cast member to join, and uh, I'm so glad that you did. Your your first episode is today, and oh, so man, that's exciting. Are you excited? <laughs> I am excited and nervous, but uh, mostly excited and honored uh, by uh, you inviting me to oh. be part of this thing. I, I, I'm so glad that you joined up, and I say again and again that you are my sunshine elemental. Oh, come on. <laughs> and that you, just when I first met you, which not that long ago, just a couple of weeks mm -hmm. ago, mm -hmm. um, I felt your energy and your happiness, and I wanted to have you on board just from having met you. Um, but you've also done a ton of good work in your life, too, and I've been trying to gather those bards in my life together, like Alex and like Jeremy. Oh, they are so awesome. NRG. Oh, NRG. my God. They are amazing people. Uh, and I have, I have also met them like a couple of weeks ago and they were, from the moment I met them, I was like, oh my God, I understand why do you call them your bards in your life? Because yeah. they are really great people and also amazing players. Mm -hmm. uh, some so of be them careful are, about hitting the table though. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, um, they, uh, and I know a couple of them are pretty new to D&D. &D, yeah. And, uh, they have been adapting really well to the role-playing game. It's amazing. And you're, I think, our veteran. How many years have you been playing? Oh, eight? Uh, about eight years, yeah. yes. Yeah. So you're the veteran. Oh no, that's uh, so much responsibility. RG and Jeremy are brand new. <laughs> Alex has been playing for about three years now. And oh, so oh, you're okay. stepping in. That's interesting. Okay. Now that Xander and Bonnie have stepped aside, you are coming in to replace Xander and Bonnie. Carrying the torch. Carrying I guess. the torch. Sure. Like I'll, so, I'll try my best. <laughs> are you are you prepared to kind of set a good example about what role playing looks like for this group? Ooh, again, that's such a huge responsibility because uh, I don't know if I have told you, but at the beginning, I was not a fan of role playing games. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, my journey started because uh, um, I was in a long distance relationship and this was one of the things that we will do during that time uh, uh, because there, you know, you kind of like try to find things to do. Um, and during those four years, D&D uh, &D was uh, amazing for this. You, you learn so many things from D&D &D, and it's not only about, you know, role playing. Uh, it, 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 there is also like a fulfillment part about it, like a personal growth to it. and. Um, it has helped me in different ways too. It's it's yeah. not just a game. <laughs> yeah. At least to me, it's not just a game. So. I think for a lot of us too. Yeah. I know for Alex, like reaching children who are otherwise tough to, to break through to, and mm -hmm. there's so much it can do. And I know earlier we, we breezed by some of the work you've done. Why don't you tell us about some of the stuff that you did back in Panama, like what you were working on there? Right, uh, so I'm involving uh, electrical engineering. I'm an electrical engineer, and um, one of the projects that uh, I got to be involved in, um, at least one of the more rewarding ones, uh, was working for this nonprofit organi organization. Um, it was about bringing uh, solar lamps to communities in Panama that don't have access to electricity. So these communities, uh, specifically one called Piriati Arriba and the other one is called uh, Wagandi, um, these communities, as soon as the sunset comes, they just go to bed because they just, just can't see anything uh, uh, in the dark. And it gets very uh, uh, also dangerous uh, uh, to do anything uh, during, this, uh, during this time. So what we did was we brought uh, solar energy to these uh, uh, families uh, in these communities. Um, uh, there was a lot of, you know, portable lamps and there were also like solar panels, panels as well. And, um, 
We also experimented a little bit with something called microbial fuel cells, which essentially, essentially you um, get energy out of the soil because there's a lot of microorganisms in the soil. Uh, so we experimented with that as well. And uh, it was overall just a very fulfilling um, experience. Um, uh, most of these families, they, they, they were so grateful to us. Like they would invite us uh, to come in and like have dinner with them mm -hmm. and like, uh, uh, we visited this community it's like a few months later and uh, it, it just very life changing how um, yeah. just like electricity, uh, even just from like a, a lamp, like can change your life. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it, I'm very excited about getting involved in, in more uh, projects like this mm -hmm. for poverty uh, alleviation. And, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a rewarding part of the, yeah. of, of the engineering field yeah, absolutely. <laughs> to, to make better uh, uh, lives for everybody. If people wanted to help out with the organization, what is the organization called? Uh, the organization is called Global Brigades. Uh, at least that's the one that uh, we got involved with uh, to have access to these communities because they are so off grid from uh, Panama City yeah. uh, that to gain access there, uh, it, 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 it can be a little bit troublesome. Um, there is no roads that get there. Like to get to these communities, you have to like go through rivers. You have to um, uh, sometimes even ask for permission uh, uh, from uh, the leader of the community because one of these communities was actually an indigenous um, uh, community and they have like their own uh, uh, micro government. Mm -hmm. And you have to like ask for permission uh, to the leader. It's called uh, Asyla. Uh, in Panama, and, and to get to that point, uh, you have to have some sort of relationship with them. And that's where Global Brigades helped us. Uh, now, uh, th there is uh, a lot of involvement of like, you know, like who like uh, uh, pays for the resources, yeah. like uh, how to manage the transportation, like there is a lot of moving parts, but Global Brigades was the one that uh, helped us get there. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> now, in our adventure that we're telling, you are playing a character named Fru. Oh, Fru, Why yes. don't you tell us a little bit about Fru? Fru is such a free spirit. Uh, she is a an Eladrin um, that uh, was raised in the high forest. And um, uh, she has family ties with Siltara, but we'll leave that to the game. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, she's always in spring form. If, if uh, uh, you know a little bit more about uh, um, Eladrins, they, they kind of like change uh, their uh, physical aspect depending on like their moods. But she's always happy. She's always uh, uh, just just trying to find like the the, the joy uh, on on every single person that she meets. Like, she tries to find um, uh, a story behind everybody essentially mm -hmm. just tries to meet new people and shares this story uh, to every place that she goes to and um, yeah she is a druid and uh, uh, she finally got to uh, explore a little bit uh, of the world outside of the high forest and she joined this group uh, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it has been a, a very exciting journey for her so we'll see where that goes. <laughs> now in our first episode, Fru had ventured ahead mm. to the tavern, the Blooming Cow, that sounds where like her. Mm -hmm. she was trying to set up, get everybody there. And when the party arrived, she wasn't there anymore. Do you know where she is? I have no clue. But knowing Fru, like she's just, I don't know, being, she probably saw a butterfly somewhere and then she started like chasing it. So like, uh, she could be anywhere in the world mm. right now. I have no clue where she's at, but uh, so guess, she's probably in trouble. I don't know. <laughs> that maybe sounds I'll, like it. Maybe I'll sit down and then give you a, a hint or two before Ooh. you hopefully show up on uh, tonight's game. Oh my God. Uh, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm. I know she will be very excited about reuniting with her group, but she will be a lot more thrilled about uh, sharing all the experiences that she just uh, went through by being away from her group. A <laughs> lot of new stories to tell, I bet. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Don't miss it. It's, yeah. It's going to be good. <laughs> Tune in to watch this episode two uh, on Monday night. That's tonight or every Monday night for the, the spring here. Mm -hmm. You can find us on twitch.tv slash Gilding Light. We air Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific. And where can they find you, Ness, if they want to find more about you? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I just recently created a, th a Twitter account. Um, it's... Uh, 
r underscore n underscore dragons uh and you can also find me uh on instagram uh done uh rainbows and dragons uh you can find us there too and there's a lot of um uh, posts that uh we have of our uh, dnd sessions and a lot of art uh that we have there as well so excellent yeah and you are coming back to play pathfinder with me in a couple oh of God. days are you looking forward to that <laughs> that's uh you know i have never played pathfinder i have as, as we said like i have eight years of playing like dnd but i have mm -hmm. never played pathfinder so um i'm starting to read a little bit uh, okay. uh of, of of my character sheet at least and uh, it looks similar, but there's, you know, like a couple of technical differences there that, that I'm very excited about exploring. All so right. We'll, so we'll, see. we'll bring you back. <laughs> we'll, we'll have another chat about that when the time comes. Mm -hmm. But thank you for joining me today and thank you for going on this adventure with me. Awesome. Thank you for inviting me. It's it's again, it's been an honor to join this. Oh, <laughs> so. I hope we're going to have make some fun stories over the next couple of weeks. Awesome. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching today. Please stay safe out there. Have fun. Love each other. And I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. Bye. <laughs> Bye.